Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Aris AX6600 Surfboard Max Tri-Band Wi-Fi Mesh System. Thank you to Best Buy for sending me this product for free to try. The Aris Surfboard Max Mesh System comes in two versions. There's the W122 model, which includes a primary router and plug-in satellite node, and W121 model, which is simply a two-pack of routers. You can also purchase the router in single packs, though oddly, the satellite cannot be purchased separately on its own. The maximum number of nodes you can mesh together in this system is three, as long as one of them is a router. The routers each come with a wall adapter, and each set comes with an ethernet cable. The router measures 7.5 inches tall with a 4 inch diameter. It has rubber feet on the bottom of its metallic base to prevent the unit from sliding. Just above the metal base, this clear section is the LED status ring, and at the top and back are vents for heat dissipation. You'll notice that there are no external antennas on this router. On the bottom are the inputs for power, LAN, and WAN marked in yellow which you'll connect to your broadband modem, and reset pinhole. One thing to note is that the clearance under the unit for the cables is pretty low, and you need to use flat ethernet cables with short connectors like the one that is included. If you use a standard size RJ45 connector, you'll find that it protrudes too far and won't allow the modem to sit flat while also pinching the cable, which is a bit inconvenient. The satellite node doesn't need a power adapter because the plug is built in. It has vents on top and bottom as well as back and sides, and a reset pinhole is on the right hand side. There are no ethernet ports on this unit, so it can only broadcast a wireless signal. In order to set up the mesh system, you'll need to download and install the Surfboard Central mobile app on an Android or iOS mobile device. Then create an Aris account if you don't already have one. Unfortunately, there's no web interface for app-free setup. In the app, you'll follow the on-screen prompts to set up the router. The Aris Surfboard Max uses a tri-band system with a dedicated wireless backhaul channel. The two-node system covers up to 5,500 square feet, but is expandable by adding one additional node as the system maxes out at three nodes. That means one of these units can't be used. If you want wired ethernet ports at each access point, then I recommend using routers as the child nodes, which would give you two ethernet uplinks per node, while the plug-in satellite would only support wireless connections. In a side-by-side -side comparison of network speed, I was surprised to find that the download speeds of the Aris compared to my previous Wi-Fi 6 network was consistently almost 50% faster for downloads. Even though we aren't on the one gigabyte plan from our ISP, the Aris system was able to deliver speeds close to the max bandwidth level that we do subscribe to in almost all areas of the home. Both the router and satellite broadcast 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz signals that your devices can connect to depending on their capabilities and signal strength. However, the one thing I didn't like about this system is the bright blue LED ring at the base of both the router and the satellite. While the brightness of these lights can be dimmed in the app, it cannot be turned off completely, only reduced to 10%. That means it might not be a good choice in sleeping quarters since it'll create some light pollution at night, even at the lowest setting. The app interface is clean and simple though, and offers more advanced setup features like UPnP, port forwarding, DNS configuration, and IP reservation. You can also test or check your download and upload speeds, set up a guest Wi-Fi network, and enable parental controls, like blocking internet access on a schedule or on demand for specific devices. There are even integrated features like Amazon's frustration-free setup, which saves your Wi-Fi login information to the cloud for fast and convenient setup of new devices purchased through your Amazon account, and a couple of Alexa voice commands for enabling a Wi-Fi guest network or verifying the status of your internet connection. Welcome to the surfboard. What can I do for you? Alexa, ask surfboard to disable my guest network. Are you sure to turn off guest Wi-Fi? Yes. Guest Wi-Fi is being turned off. Overall, the setup for this Wi-Fi 6 mesh system was quick and straightforward, and its performance speed-wise has been great. Signal strength throughout the home is strong and reliable, and we've had no issues connecting our smart home devices or mobile devices to it, even when roaming about the house. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.